Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of Knights of the Old Republic. Alrighty, when we left off, we were, uh, we had just discovered there was a lot of shit going on with, uh, Kashyyyk. Um, turns out Zalbar's brother, Chundar, is, uh, the chieftain and has been the one selling Wookiees to slavers, pretty much. So, uh, he's a jackass. Uh, inevitably, we're going to have to fight him and kill him. But as it stands for right now, there is nothing we can do without immediately turning the Wookiees against us. So, we're going down to the Shadowlands to do his bidding right now. And hopefully, eventually, figure out a way to dethrone him, for lack of a better phrase, in the process. So, uh, that's what we're going to do. Also, it seems enemies have reappeared, which is something. Not something I expected, but nonetheless, we'll work with it. Alright. Deal with you. Uh, we'll try to force Whirlwind you, and then go back to beating you up. Ow. Fuck, that didn't work. Alright, well, we tried. Alright, well. There we go, that worked. Ow. Might heal myself now just to make it a little easier. There we go. I'm the one who needed the health the most. But, uh, we got dealt with. So there's that. Alright, um. I'll try another Force Whirlwind and try this after that. Oh, not. Okay. Ow. There we go. Much better. Ish. There's nothing I can loot from these guys, right? Have to double check. Nope. Nothing. Okay. Fair enough. Had to make sure. Alright. Um... Now that we're allowed to go down to the Shadowlands. Alright. Ah, you're not going to say a damn thing to me now, huh? Ha! Miss. Well, there's these things that I can kill really quickly. Holy fuck. It's not even a threat, really. Wow. That is insane. <laughs> Damn, they're like free XP. It's basically free money. That's a reference. If none of you got that. It's a reference to a particular ginger who lost his way because free money. Alright, so. Just gonna go over here. Get a little closer, see if that's going to coax him. Nope. Alright. Ha! Ah, gotcha. Now you're down. Damn, that was quick. Wow. I'm just getting so lucky with these now. Damn. Really lucky. Barely needed to do anything. For now, oh, seem to be having some trouble here. Let's try and help them. Well, didn't exactly go as planned, but let's help them. There we go. Ow! All right, better, better. What do you want, outsider? I won't let you follow us on our hunt. Troll is not here for your amusement. I don't mean you any harm. I'll believe that when our planet is free of you. Your kind are only here to take or destroy. I won't be your trophy, dead or as a slave. Leave me. You have no place here. Just a few questions. I'm a friend. Only a moment, outsider. I won't be this patient for long. Fair enough. Uh, what do you think of Chunda? 
He is our chieftain and will be obeyed. That is our way. Whether I trust what he says or not doesn't matter. In time, someone will replace him. For better or worse, I don't know. That will be for Baka to decide. How will he decide? What does that mean? He was our greatest warrior. His ancient sword is the tool of ascension, the mark of a chieftain. Okay. Chundar no longer displays it, not since he took the role of chieftain years ago. If someone else could produce it... Oh. I see. Bah, I talk like a mere child. This is foolishness. Could a blood relative of Chundar challenge him? It truly would take Baka's blade for that to happen. Chundar is the last member of his family. There were others, but they were marked with madness. We don't speak their names. They are without honor. I don't think I need to ask that question. I already know. It's not good. Uh, do you know of a crazed Wookiee in the Shadowlands? The only crazed creature I know of is one of your kind, outsider, not mine. We see him from time to time. We leave him alone. He has our respect because he has braved the lands alone. Sometimes he has helped lone travelers. He is crazy, though. All right. The finest warriors hunt the Shadowlands in groups, yet he lives there alone. Avoid him. Madness is to be feared. How long has he been down there? Many years. It is impossible to know how many. A decade? Two? Perhaps he can answer your questions. Or kill you. Okay, then. Do you happen to know of an ancient star map? I don't concern myself with outsider toys. Search where you will. I'm not wasting my time. Fair enough. Fair enough. I will leave you for now. Yes, go, and don't expect a friendly welcome if you return. The work this world is my home, not yours. Fair enough. Don't really blame you. Where'd your buddies go? Don't know where your buddies went. That's weird. Oh, oh well. Guess they were inconsequential anyhow. Um, plasteel cylinder, bowcaster in combat suit. Okay, Gorwukin. Okay, this is the guy I was supposed to talk to. Chundar has commanded that I grant you access to the Shadowlands. Gorwukin is what I am called. Walk with care. Only our bravest return from these lands. Your soft feet are a barely tolerated insult. Okay. I have a few questions. Shindar said nothing of answering your questions. Be brief. Has anyone else been allowed down recently? A few like you are in the Shadowlands, given permission by Chundar. I don't know why. Only Wookiees should be allowed. The journeys of my people are very personal. I won't speak of them to an outsider. Tell me of the Wookiees so I might show proper respect. You ask very respectfully. Outsiders never do that. I suppose I can mention some of us that have entered the Shadowlands. Last was Ro Ro. Ro Ro. Ro War. Fuck, I can't say it. And he has not returned in many days. He may have died below, but he was strong and able. Many have died recently. Shundar believes one of our own is below. Mad, crazed, killing all. I do not know. We find no bodies to examine. The Shadowlands claim them, I'm sure. Uh, what outsiders are below? For reasons I do not know, Chundar allows much of the Zerko to move in the Shadowland. They kill much. There is another, but he has earned respect. He does not disturb our lives or customs. And he gets angry like a Wookiee sometimes. His name hurts my tongue. He has lived alone in the Shadowlands for many years now. Fair enough. I want to understand why they revere the Shadowlands. You can't. You must live here to understand, to see harmony in the danger. Ah, I waste my breath on you. I don't want to force persuade him if I don't have to. Uh, back to my other questions now. Uh, now I'll, I'll just unlock the thing and lower me down. The descent is long. Be still, or we will attract unwelcome visitors. Alright. Stand perfectly still, and you won't get the evil bats of doom to try and eat your face, I guess. I don't fucking know. I'm making shit up. Uh... 
Ah, there we go. Video of a descent with a nice warm coffee. Alrighty, here we are. Uh, hello again, Ferret Khan. I've heard nothing of your progress, so I will assume there hasn't been any. I'll take you back to the surface, but you must do Chundo's task. Don't keep him waiting. Oh, I can go back and forth at will. I was under the impression I could not. Hmm. I'm not ready to go up. I'll be back later. Very well. I will wait here for you to return. Sounds good to me. And that is new info that I desperately needed. Because there's a thing that if I don't time it right, I won't be able to do. Okay, so. Since whirlwind. And let's go after these motherfuckers now. Oh, they take a lot of damage. Oh boy, they take a lot of damage. Well, I didn't know Jihani was going to do that. Had I known, I wouldn't have done that. Ow. Oh, and he heals himself. That's interesting. Corpse. With a Zabrak Tystel Mark III and a Craft Double Sword. Huh. What is that fucking noise? Oh! The little monkey things. Okay. He looks like he's in trouble. Or not. Anymore. Ugh, the damnable racket of battle. Watch yourself. Even more of these crawling beasts are hiding in the underbrush. Who are you? And what are you doing here? I'm Jolie. Jolie Bindo. Follow me to my camp and we'll talk a bit. <laughs> are you my grandpa? Is that what you are? Because <laughs> he's... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's, he's probably everyone's grandpa, let's be honest here. He, he, he does have that sort of feel about him, doesn't he? Are you a Jedi? Ah, don't start fawning just yet. I'm too old for it. Uh, I, I know a few things, but we can talk about it at my camp. Keep close. It's nearby, under a log. Yeah, I live like some burrowing rodent. I fought the Sith. Now look at me. <laughs> I wasn't saying anything. I wasn't criticizing. The... Oh, it's a tack. These are the... These are the tacks that we're supposed to be going for, for Griff's thing. Okay. Alright. Hmm. Fair enough, I guess. Hi there. Well, welcome to my home, such as it is. Pull up a stump and be comfortable. We should discuss a few things. Sound good to me. We look so similar and are dressed so similarly. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, <laughs> God damn it. Uh, it almost looks like we're related, especially with the same bald fucking head. <laughs> okay. Oh, boy. All right. Yes, I feel there is much you can tell me. Don't coddle me, child. I'm neither a Jedi nor your master. I'm just an old man that's been lost in the woods for far too long. Oh, yeah? The days of glory are behind me, but perhaps there is something I can do for you. You must have questions. I do. I do have a lot. I have a lot, uh, in fact, about uh, Kashyyyk. Yes, among the Wookiees. Intriguing creatures. I like that they have little patience for bureaucrats. But of yeah, course, me too. here there are hidden things that manipulate. Really? Have you seen a crazed Wookiee in the Shadowlands? Maddened with grief, perhaps, but not crazed. I helped him pass to the lower forest where only a Wookiee could follow. Some other matters will determine if you can follow. 
There was a barrier that, well... Oh, I hit the button on accident. Sorry. Uh, we'll talk more of that more in a moment. Okay. What do you know of Chundar? Circa Corporation was smart to put him in power. He's as good at destroying Wookiee culture as dropping corpses full of Ardroxian flu. Will Whoa. you work for him or against him, I wonder? Against. I will be interested to see. Obviously, I will be working against. You don't have a recommendation? Uh, sure. How's this? Think for yourself. I don't care for politics. I'm big on letting people figure things out for themselves. The Wookiees okay. have prophecies of deliverance if you ask them. But for now, they follow without hesitation. That is their wish. Hmm. Well, I mean, they have prophecies of deliverance, but they follow without hesitation for now. Meaning they would like a better option, but they will suffer through this if they have to. Well, me being the guy I am, I might make that uh, prophecy come true a little bit. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, do you know of a missing Wookiee called Roar? It is a very unfortunate matter end in shame and sorrow. You will find Roar War down here, and more. I have oh. witnessed a number of happenings, but I have left them for others to sort out. You aren't being very helpful. I wasn't aware I had to be. Look, okay. events like That's these fair. reveal much about the people involved. I'm well past that introspective tripe. I'm not saying that okay. outside help isn't needed, I just, well, I didn't want to make anyone mad while I didn't have a way off the planet. We'll talk more about that momentarily. I see. You've been kind of stuck here, so you don't want to rock the boat too much. Understandable. I'm gonna ask you some more questions. Fine, fine, just be brief. You, you were the one letting me! Don't you be... Bleh. Old man? Fuck you! Alright, I'm gonna ask about you. Uh, what is there to tell? Jolie Bindo is the crazy old man in the dangerous woods. I'm content with the impression I give. <laughs> All right. I guess. I guess at a certain point you would be content with that. You use a lightsaber in battle. You are a Jedi. I follow the Jedi way and I command the Force. Yes. I suppose that makes me as much a Jedi as anyone. But what of it? Why should being what I am compel me to entertain others with tales of the good old days? Ah, I've seen my share of the dark and the light. Frankly, both extremes annoy me. Of course, I have felt rumblings of change. It's kind of nice to meet a Jedi who isn't all hung up on this light side, dark side stuff. It gets pretty tiring, you know? Perhaps you will be of some assistance to me after all. Let us discuss what you came here for. <laughs> you are difficult to deal with. It worries me. Ah, and it makes you think I may have the taint of the dark side in me, doesn't it? Ooh. Is that what you're wondering, huh? Ooh. Well, I assure you, I see more gray than dark or light. Ah! Stubborn old man, tired of the foolishness of others. Yeah! This is my guy, I love it! <laughs> okay, okay, alright. Um, I've been playing it up a little bit. I've been playing it up. Um, but th this is the sort of thing that I enjoy. Um... We, we, we know the films specifically touch on the dark side and the light side. All the time. All the fucking time. As Mission said, it gets a little boring. Isn't there, like, shades of gray somewhere in there? That's where Jolie comes in. Jolie Bindo. He is a gray Jedi. That is a concept that has been utterly destroyed due to Disney's taking of the franchise, but that's mainly because Grey Jedi were only touched upon in the expanded universe. So, if Disney wants to do that sort of route at some point, they're free to do so. But right now... They're just kind of up in the air, or all in limbo sort of thing. So, what we're looking at right now is that Grey Jedi are able to more or less walk the line 
between light side and dark side because they disagree with how the Jedi do things but they do not feel the pull and taint and really the problems associated with the dark side Grey Jedi are able to just straddle that line which grants them a whole host of freedoms that either side cannot really have. Which is something I love to death. Oh my god. It is the best. It is the best sort of thing. Unfortunately, there is not a lot of ways you can play that in games associated with the Disney universe nowadays. And in fact, I don't think there's a lot more of them. Anyway, um, maybe eventually through the new game, Fallen Order, maybe, who knows. But um, as it stands right now, it's still in the strict dichotomy of good, evil, that's it. I prefer to have the gray area side available because I think that's where a majority of people live in that little gray area and I, I want it I want it back I want it back I want this back I want these cool sort of things these so cool sort of characters and this cool sort of new ideology outside of the realm of what Jedi and Sith are back and I really hope that is something Disney eventually does. But this is the only place you have it right now. This is the only place. And it just... Mm. It's cool. It's cool. Alright? It's cool. It's cool stuff. And it's why I wanted to start with this series playing this game. So. Alright. Enough geeking out. Let's go. Uh, I want to ask you some more questions. Fine, fine. Just be brief. Oh, obviously. Uh, do you have any knowledge of star maps? Now, why would you be asking about that, hmm? Don't answer. I knew that had to be why you were here. The problems of a few Wookiees don't amount to anything before the concerns of the Jedi. No, you are here for the map. I mean, if you have information, please tell it to me. Kashyyyk is an interesting place, more so than anyone suspects. If Circa Corporation knew, the planet would be a strip mine. The Wookiees gotcha. have their legends that they were not always here, but it is more than that. The trees themselves are strangers. Really? I don't understand. Can you be more specific? What I'm saying is that there are literally walls in your way, and you won't find what you need without my help. And my help has a price. You okay. must do a task for me, and then allow me to join with you. I will then remove certain barriers in your path. Oh. <laughs> Can't I just pay you? I hate jumping hoops. <laughs> uh, I'm honored to help someone of your experience. Oh, save it. <laughs> I know this sounds absurd, but I'm old and entitled to work you around a bit. Yeah, Besides, that's true. The test is simple. That's true. Since they began expanding okay. in the Shadowlands, the Circa have left me alone for the most part. Until recently, anyway. Really? A group of them set up camp not far from here. Poachers is all they are. I I'd see. like them removed from this place. Huh. Why do you care if they're here? They don't respect this place. They're butchering wildlife and threatening oh, entire species. I see. Getting under my skin. The Wookiees could take care of themselves if they wished. The animals gotcha. are truly helpless victims. That is fair. That is more than fair. I see. So the age semi-Jedi wants me to get some kids off his lawn. Yes, yes, I'm an old man that's getting fussy. Call me foolish if you will. I don't care. You still have to do it. They're I don't blame you. Northeast. Now remember, if I wanted them dead, I'd have done it myself. Find a better way. Okay. Where are they, and how many of them? They are not that far northeast of here. There's usually five in the area, as far as I can see. The okay. captain of the lot is the one that earned my ire. 
Mishandle my garden, Willie? <laughs> Fair enough. Why would you want to join up with me, though? That's a thing that you kind of mentioned. You presumably have a ship. I've seen all I wish to here. Isn't that enough? I mean, I'm really sick of the trees. And perhaps your Not destiny might show me something new. You never know. Why don't you just get rid of them yourself? Don't talk back to your elders, child. Look, okay. they know me quite well, and are always on alert when I approach. The only way I could get rid of them would be violence, which would eventually lead to trouble for the Wookiees. Okay. I want them gone, but with as little fuss as possible. They have already caused enough trouble as it is. That's fair. That's more than fair. I'll look into it. Good. Return to me here and we'll see how you have done. Shoot! Shoot! Hey, don't shoot me! I'm doing the thing for you. Damn it, old man. Broken droid. My primary motivators are incapacity, error, damage terminal, playback, cause a malfunction. Playback. I don't get it. That merchant said we, there was salvage down here. We need Matten to work the sensors. When he gets back, we'll... Wait. I'm getting something. Oh, it's Eli. Good. Maybe he'll point us in the right direction. Eli, what the... But you got your money, you double-crossing snake. We had a deal... Cause of the malfunction. Salvage what parts you can from this droid. You start with the droid's head, removing it and placing it in your pack. An energy discharge follows through the remaining parts. Ow! E. Hmm. The scrambled memory of the malfunctioning droid found in the Shadowlands reveals the violent last moments of its companions. They were ambushed, but identified their attacker as Eli, the merchant you met on Docking Ring. On the docking ring. It appears he has not told the truth about these creditors that supposedly skipped out on paying him. You have salvaged a droid's head. Matten would be very likely wanting to see it. Fair enough. Jolie's request and chieftain in need. Now, that's the thing. That's the thing I need to go back and deal with. Because otherwise, it won't be able to be done at all. I have to make sure I'm going the right path, though. Um... If I do not do it right now, I will lose the opportunity later. And some of you may be wondering, why do you know that? Because I know things. Sometimes all you need to know is that I know things. And that's enough. Sometimes that's more than enough, okay? I hope some of you understand. This is for the good of the video. Videos. Series. All that fun stuff, you know. Did I ever loot that other corpse? I don't think I did. Might not have gotten the chance to now that I think about it. I want to double check before I get any further. Um, I did not. Zabrak combat suit and ion rifle. Okay. Combat suit and an ion rifle. The rifle doesn't interest me, but the combat suit. I'll need to look into that. I already checked this one. I know that. I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Alright. Time to head back. Or walk in. Hello again. I have heard nothing of your progress, so I assume there hasn't been any. Take you back to the surface, but you must do Chundar's task. Don't keep him waiting. Just take me up for now. Very well, just one moment. Alright, we'll go back up. Does it have its own little video for that? Yes, it does. All right. So, because of the way that things will go down, given the path that I am doing, you may have noticed, if you watched the uh, 
Two Best Friends LP for Wooly's playthrough. Uh, even though he was dark side, he sided with the uh, he sided with the Wookies in that regard. Don't blame him. It's a fairly upsetting sort of shit storm to uh, be looking at. You uh, kind of want to do that. So, uh, that is the thing we're going to be doing. Unfortunately, because of the way it goes down, it does not allow you to deal with a certain quest in a way that is satisfactory. This is the quest I'm talking about. Ow. Fuck you. And do this again. Never mind. Mission killed it quicker than I was able to do so. The fact that these things respawn is amazing to me. Not that I'm going to complain. But, uh, it's a little annoying. Alright. There we go. Hey! Got a level up out of that. Fuck yeah. And there we go. There we go. Hey, more level ups. Fuck yeah. I don't get anything. Alright. Alright. Um level up mission. Let's see. Should I keep pushing dexterity or should I go constitution? Because uh her constitution is a little low. Then again, wisdom. Hmm. Wisdom won't help much in the long run. So let's go constitution just to make her a little more well-rounded. And in regards to this... Don't need to do that. Um, that and... Hmm. There we go. That'll work. Good for me. Master Scoundrel's Luck. Oh, damn. She's just getting good stuff all around. Alright, so Juhani. Um... Yeah, that'll work. Actually, you know what? No. Can I have her go awareness? Better. Alright, um... She's not quite at the level to get heal yet, but... This would be a good thing to go for. Huh. Yeah, I think I like that. I think I like her having that too. Good, alright. So. Good. Good, good, good. And I will adjust the uh, lightsabers later. With the new crystals and whatnot that we picked up. But for now, I have to make sure I head back. Uh, can I do that here? No, I cannot. Alright, that's to the Zerka dock, so I go this way. Whoops, I hit the button on my desk. I am a comedy of errors today. Holy fuck. Alright. Let's do that. Um, let's have Juhani heal too. What? Alright, cool. I don't know what the hell's taking mission so long to get up with us, but... We're making our way. That's all I can say. There we go. Good. Alright. Oh, man. It sucks that we we're too late to save that from being a thing. Zerka Dock. And we have some confronting to do. Alrighty. Oh, and they're still here. Good. Good, good, good. Hey. Hey, buddy. Hey, pal. Hello again. Hi what there. What valued until you can't pay? Watch your credits. Mm -hmm. Hurt me, Matson. It's the debt of your crew that keeps you here, not me. Yeah. I found this droid head. Can I ask you about it? Droid head? On Kashik? Let me see that. It's nothing. 
I'm certain. Uh, just garbage from the forest floor. Yeah! Near rubbish. It's DAO2, the repair droid from my ship. What was this doing in the forest? Ha <laughs> ha! It recorded an ambush. Someone yelled Eli's Eli, name. Eli, you snake. You said my crew jacked the ship without paying the repair bill. Well, <laughs> that is... It's not how it looks. Uh -huh. You see, a good mechanic is hard to find, and... Uh -huh. And what? I thought I owed you. You tricked them into the Shadowlands and killed them while I fixed your freighter in orbit. Whoa. Don't act rashly, Matten. Eli is through. Violence won't help. Now keep your head, Matten. It was just business. 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 Oh, now I want to kill him. Whew. But we got light side points. Yay! That Thalian bog slime. Do you know I've been here 36 days slaving to pay a debt in good faith? He won't last long hiding in the Shadowlands. Well, I could have shot out his legs and let him crawl around for a while, but I consider this far more merciful. I suppose that closes his little outpost here. Well, I mean, his reputation's shot. Someone honest could take over. Well, there's not much for me to do but stay here. I have no ships, so I may as well make a few credits. It'll probably take a while to convince Eli's suppliers that I'm the new boss, but eventually I'll buy my way off this rock. There you go. And you won't owe anyone a single credit. I mean, there's that. Let's see what's for sale. All right, then. Actually, I feel like I owe you something. Here, take a few credits. If you spend it here, all the better. I think things are looking up. Alrighty, then. Wow, I have a lot of credits. Okay. Um, hey, and the inventory that he had previously is now his. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. This is medium. This is medium, even though it's considered light battle armor. This is actual battle armor, so it's heavy. Hm. Makes sense. Uh, Guess get poison. All right. Fair enough. Show the cell list, because some things I might want to get rid of. Uh, mainly these combat suits. Don't need that many of them. Um, huh. Military suit is pretty good. Zabrak so combat suit is... Eh, it's right up there with the Achani light armor. But it's not as good. So I'll sell that. Kalo Nord's battle armor. Uh, not sure who I'll give that to. Light battle armor. Sell that. Sell these two, because we don't need them. Fibro sword. He might need that. Oh. Craft double sword has a damage bonus of plus one cold. Twisted by the dark side. Oh. Craft favored weapons of fearsome appearance requiring brute strength to wield. And the blades of this weapon are certainly effective, if not elegant. Fair enough. Hmm. Oh, we got violet crystals. I forgot we had that. Next door increases the critical threat at range. Hmm. Fair enough. And Damon increases the attack number, which is good. There's a lot of good things going on here. Oh, the Mandalorian heavy pistols do a lot more damage than the regular heavy blasters. Damn. A lot more. I'll sell these then. Uh, okay. Well, this definitely turned out better for everyone involved <laughs> me included um oh didn't realize i still had these now they're gone hey whoa <laughs> i didn't expect them to give me 500 all right and i did end it up it did more or less end up sell uh, using that as a shop so actually no i didn't i didn't buy a single thing from him oh now I feel like an asshole. Oh, well, I'll do it later. <laughs> For now. Uh, transit's disabled. Really? Well, that's stupid. Anyway. Oh, that's probably because I'm here with the ship. 
Anyhow, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. Shout out to SVS on YouTube and Raj Kamal on Patreon for supporting my Patreon and thus supporting the channel. Thank you very much. I do appreciate it. This has been the one and the only Stray Cat playing games and trying to help out the people of Kashik and some people who are indebted to a slime ball who killed his buddies and then tried to make him pay off a debt they incurred on his behalf uh, by working on his ship because a mechanic is hard to come by. Uh, I'm sure when we go back down to the Shadowlands, we'll see him down there and probably take what he had on him which is probably not much i guess we'll find out when we get back huh for you